China has recently made aggressive claims to the South China Sea. China is intended to control shipping lanes of the South China Sea. There are rumors of oil and natural gas deposits there. China's aggression and influence has affected many countries in Asia. ASEAN and the U.S. government have tried to stand up to China's imperialist ambitions. ASEAN and China have tried to regulate the code of conduct of activities. My biggest concern is for the islands off the coast of the Philippines, which has become a security concern for that country itself. China is such a concern not just to the Philippines, but to the rest of Southeast Asia. The South China region is such a geopolitically important region that China is trying to control all of it. The claims that China has on the South China Sea are collectively called the Nine Dashed Line. China's claims to the South China Sea are invalid and shouldn't happen. I support the Filipino people in, in regaining sovereignty of their land and seas. In the Philippines, there has been a source of contention over the islands in the West Philippine Sea. The Spratly Islands and Scarborough Shoal have been disputed over between both countries. It is unnecessary because these islands deserve to belong to the Philippines and they belong to us because they are close to them. This is according to the UN Convention of the Law of the Sea. China has been threatening the Philippines with continued military presence in the region. It has caused insecurity and controversy in the Philippines. China has done so many things to upset the Filipino people. It has tried to reclaim many islands on disputed territory, trying to exert claims to the islands. China claims that it is using them for civilian purposes, such as scientific research and mar maritime search and rescue. China has patrolled the South China Sea through intimidation, truly. The maritime control of the South China Sea by China has changed the nature of the sea itself. The sovereignty of the Philippines has been threatened with Chinese presence in the islands. An international tribunal has been set up over the control of the islands. China has refused to attend the tribunals. Other Chinese actions against the Philippines is how Chinese rice is made from straw and it has penetrated the market in the Philippines. The Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia have all officially protested over the use of such nine-dashed line. China's claims to the South China Sea have been called, called the Great Wall of Sand because of massive militarization. The sovereignty of Vietnam and other Southeast Asian nations is threatened. China is basically trying to control the natural resources that the Filipinos have, especially oil reserves, which the Filipinos are deserving to have. China's claims are invalid because first, it, those claims violate international law because it prevents countries in the South China Sea from having exclusive economic zones. China is basically not only trying to control shipping in the South China Sea, but also control and take the resources of other countries in Southeast Asia. I hope that the Association of Southeast Asian Nations will come together to fight against Chinese imperialism in the Southeast Asia. I hope that ASEAN would not be too weak to defend itself on China. Luckily, Philippines have Vietnam has, have decided to stand up against China. Vietnam had to experience over 1,000 years of imperial Chinese rule from 111 BC to 939 AD. Vietnam is a key ally to the Philippines in securing the claims, their claims to the South China Sea and will be in instrumental in fighting against Chinese aggression. The United States has also promised to help the Philippines in the disputes and has asked for China to stop its excessive patrolling and intimidation on other Southeast Asian nations. This has been done through the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. I call for China to stay out of the Philippines, period. I hate China because they have caused so much commotion in Southeast Asia and the South China Sea. I will never go to China ever and I will give up eating Chinese food because of this. I do not even feel sorry for what happened to the Nanking Massacre. I feel so strongly about this and I'm truly disgusted over what's happening.